Welcome back to the Wizards of Amazon podcast, your weekly blueprint for explosive success. I'm Carlos Alvarez, full-time successful Amazon seller and organizer of the largest Amazon seller meetup group in the world. Let's do this. What's up, everybody? Uh, another solo episode here, just you and I, and I have not done a solo episode in about six weeks. So not really sticking to the schedule that I had envisioned when I started this podcast, alternating weeks as a solo episode and bringing on a guest. That's been a combination of a lot of things, including just the day-to-day changes of the Amazon landscape during COVID and uh, just crunched for time really and adapting to this new schedule. Um, Today is July 1st. As I record this, this episode will release on July 6th. That's probably when you're listening to this. And I am still on self-quarantine going on about three months, just playing it safe. I have two small kids and I'm in Miami, Florida, where everything seems to be spiking or so the news would lead me to believe. Um, Today's episode Uh, Due to a a lot of follow-ups, thank you everybody for having patience with me, but we, um, I owe you guys an episode actually. So in episode 19 that I released on March 2nd, I did part one of Amazon live video. So today I'm going to honor the second half of that and I'm going to share with you the tactics that I'm using to succeed with Amazon live video. So here is that part two that in March I promised you would come in two weeks. And instead, here we are uh, just a day, a few days over four months, and I am releasing the episode. So better late than never. Um, There are a lot of new things here, which is cool, that I'm gonna be able to share in this episode that did not even exist four months ago when I I would have put out part two. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're really gonna enjoy this. So, I'm not going to cover a lot of the basics here in this episode, as again, you can catch the where does my live show up, how do I go live, who sees my live, and and all of those really important questions in episode 19. Um, This is episode 37, and we're going to dive into the tactics to to really round off this, this Amazon live video strategy. So, Amazon live video over the last four months has gotten a strong I mean, it's gotten stronger than ever. I I did not even foresee that it would get this strong and it's just exceeding all expectations. So four areas that I really want to dive into on on this episode is going to be uh, the call to action area, uh, VSFB or what I'm coining as verbal search find buys, the Amazon live URL and pre-recorded video. So those are the four sections that and we could go on for like 50 sections but i'd say these are the top four that we really need to focus on if you want to crush your amazon live video strategy perhaps in the future i'll come out with an episode as i know a lot of people say look you know i sell you know blank widget and or i sell a watermelon slice or a garlic press a silicone baking mat whatever whatever your product is to fill um that blank here I don't know what to go live about. So that is an important thing. Um, I guarantee you, regardless of what your product is, there is enough content out there that you could go live every single day Um, between the tools, BuzzSumo, SEMrush, Google Alerts, Answer the Public, uh, Quora, Reddit, you know, doing searches on any of those platforms surrounding your topic or your main keywords will will yield you know enough content for you to go live two or three times a day for a year without scratching the surface. Again, perhaps in a, in a future episode, I'll I'll dive deeper into those. Or if you guys message me on Instagram and and ask for it, I'll definitely know you're interested, and I will do an episode on how I approach creating that Amazon Live Video calendar. So it's it's a calendar of plans for all the different topics. And a way to gather all the assets for those topics um so you see it in the future and you don't get overwhelmed every day with oh my god when am i going to go live and yes it is a good strategy to go live every day if you're going live once a week that's a lot better than every day but right now it's free and you're reaching a massive audience so yes even if you went live every day it's fine so let's dive into this the first one i want to get into is the the call to action 
the, the, the three areas surrounding call to action that I think are really critical with Amazon live videos. And I noticed that most people are not executing well on these. So the, the first one is going to be the follow button. And the follow button is a relatively new feature for Amazon live video. And similar to YouTube, where you can have a subscriber hit subscribe on Amazon, that subscribe button is called follow. It's got a plus sign, looks really clean. It's going to fall on the top left of your Amazon live video. Amazon puts that themselves. Now, some people will just jump up there and click on it, but most people will not. You have to mention this in the video. You need to incorporate this and tell everybody, hey, follow me so you know when I'm going to go live. Follow me so you don't miss out on the new release of our blank. Follow me so you can get more information so you can use this widget better. Whatever, whatever fits your product. But definitely mention to follow you right there in the video. Why is that important? It's not just a vanity number for you to say, oh, I have X amount of people following me. And, and to date, Amazon's not even releasing what that number is. However, what happens is anyone that does follow you, whenever you go live in the future, if they have the Amazon buyer app on their phone with push notifications turned on, which who doesn't, when you go live, they're going to receive a push notification that you are going live, a brand that they've chosen to follow on Amazon is going live. And the likelihood that they're going to act on that push notification on their phone is extremely high. This, is, this has got to be the most powerful feature that I've seen on Amazon to date. The other place or the other benefit of having someone follow you on Amazon is that, and I've not seen this on all accounts for people that go live, but it looks like Amazon's testing out an area to where when a shopper is checking out and you're on that last page, if, if you happen to be going live or have a, a live video scheduled, it will appear on that final checkout page. So I don't have any data yet to back this up, but how I see it, the, depending on the type of product you have, is what, what this <laughs> what, what, what this is like is if you're in the, you know, imagine yourself in the supermarket or in a store and you are standing there in line waiting to check out and then you have all of the gum, the candy, the magazines and all those little knickknacks that it's just so easy to add to your cart, literally two clicks away from that live video to be able to add more products to their cart right there at checkout. And this is a brand that they've already followed. It's not like you know, some product that, that Amazon says uh, other people who have bought what you're buying also bought this, which is powerful in and of itself. But this is, this takes it a step beyond that. Um, one final thing surrounding the follow button as a call to action, something that works really well is in addition to the clickable follow button that a viewer can click on, on your Amazon live video, what I'm noticing, um, and I, I can't take credit for this one. What I'm noticing a lot of people do is their streaming tool of choice, which you know I'm, I, I like VMAX. Their streaming tool of choice is they're including a graphic on their streaming tool, which is a rectangular box, like a red rectangular box, or you could do whatever color your branding is that says follow. So it looks like a clickable button. And if you position this right in, in the top left corner, it will sit right under the follow button that Amazon has. So again, you a viewer can definitely see the follow button that Amazon has, but Amazon has made that follow button like a very uh, a, a very soft white. And unless you're hovering over it, sometimes you don't know it's there if in the background of your video it's a white wall, you, you, it kind of gets lost. But drawing the attention to that area with that graphic that looks like a clickable button, is is very powerful. Uh, if you've not, if you're if you're struggling, I'm trying to communicate this in a way that you you can easily visualize. Uh, the only other example I know that I can give you is if you're if you're on Facebook and you're in a Facebook group or a Facebook business page, and the cover image at the top. Now, what some people will do is say something like, "If if you want to watch uh, our two part video series, click here." And there's a button pointing to a button that says click here. 
So it looks like that if you click that button, you're going to be taken to watch some videos. When in reality, when you click that button, it just opens the image like any other image on social media. And then in the comments of that image, there's a link probably for where you could, you know, input your, your details so they can send you access to the video. But it, it, it really gets your attention. You're like, oh, I didn't know you could click there or, you know, that, that, you know, follow, click here, subscribe here, whatever that button is positioned right under or near the Amazon follow button has, has had amazing results. All right. Next section I want to share with you is what, what, I'm, what I'm calling verbal search find by. So it seems like in the Amazon space that we're in, that search find by uh, or, you know, SFB it has become like the term for what I used to call treasure hunts. And, and that is, for those of you that don't know, that is having a buyer mimic what the natural search pattern would be of a buyer so that you can get improved keyword ranking on that conversion. So when I would do treasure hunts before we started calling this search find buy, I would get my email. I would show a picture of the product. I would have a link to Amazon, just amazon.com. And then I would show a promo code and tell everybody, look, this is what the product looks like. Search for this search term and you'll find this product between pages blank and blank. And here's the promo code that you can take action on this is only valid for the first, you know, 15 people. And I'd make it valid for like the whole email list. But what happens there is Amazon, for those of you that don't understand search find buys, what happens there is that Amazon, they see that as a, what looks like a natural search. So you're, you're playing with Amazon there. Instead of just sending someone the link to your product, you're actually having them go through the normal search pattern to find your product so that you can get maximum keyword juice and, and better page position off of that keyword. So I hope that explains it. I don't want to make this whole episode about search, find, buy and keywords, but when you're doing a video or Amazon live video to be specific, <clears throat> you're, ver you're, you're communicating verbally. Like they're, they're viewing you. They're, they're visualizing, they're visually seeing you. I can't speak today on video and you're communicating to them audibly. So verbally, which is why I'm saying verbal search, find, buy. Now, what, what, I'm gonna, what I'm doing here definitely falls in the gray area. So depending on when you're listening to this, I, 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 it behooves you to become very knowledgeable of Amazon's ter ser terms of service when it comes to Amazon live video. And what I do is the product in my catalog that I want to really promote in my live video, I do not add that product to the carousel underneath my live video. I should have started explaining this by saying that when you do go live, you get to select the products from your catalog and from your brand that you want to have on this carousel, really nice looking carousel underneath your video. So when somebody's looking at your live video and they really like what you're talking about and what you're selling, you're probably referring to one of the products that are in that carousel that they can easily just click on. So, so that is very powerful. But for, for those of us that are, are trying to take it to another level and we want to laser target specific keywords in a, in a search find by format, what I do is I do not include that product in the carousel, that product being the product I'm launching, the product I'm, you know, who's this live video is going to be mainly the main purpose is to help rank this product or for whatever reason advance goals with product A. I'll put in product B, C, D, E, F, however many I'll put in the carousel, but I will not put in product A. Now when I'm going live and I'm showing this product, product A, there's no easy way for them just to click. And I also let them know in the beginning of the video that I have a, an amazing deal on this product. Sometimes I, I've, I've been able to get a hold of people that watched my Amazon live videos. And they've let me know that when that was happening, that they were actually going through the carousel looking for the product. And when they couldn't find it, it made them stay and watch the Amazon live video longer. They did not, you know, bail on the Amazon live video in search of this particular product. So that, that was a huge plus. So I don't add the product there because at a certain point in my live stream, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mention this this, this deal that I have on this product. 
And the deal is going to be by way of a promo code. And how do they find the promo code? Excellent question. Thank you for asking. The Using the same streaming tool, VMix, I'll, at that point, I'll bring up the graphic on the screen that's going to show the promo code. So I'll bring that up. And then I'm still talking about this deal that's going to happen. Now, the promo code, how I like to do it, the promo code doesn't say, you know, 20% off, use this code. At first, it just shows the code. Then I keep talking about it because I've gotten their attention. They're looking at this code. And then I let them know, uh, like a, like a minute in, I let them know, a minute after the code is shown, I let them know that this code will get you 20% off on this product that I'm, you know, that I have in my hand or that I'm featuring in the video. And that all they have to do is use this code during checkout to get it. Now, I'm limiting the amount of units that this promo code is going to be valid for. And I'm limiting the amount of time that I'm going to make um, this code valid. As soon as I do that, I bring up another graphic on the screen using VMix. And this is a countdown timer. Now, the amount of time that you want this countdown timer to have is really dependent on, you know, how long your video is. You, you want the timer to probably expire before you've ended the live video. And you also are trying to create that sense of urgency. So people take action now. Uh, I like putting five minutes. Uh, it gives people time to react. Remember, you have other people that are going to be getting on the live stream afterwards. If you know that you're going to be going live for an hour, perhaps the first 30 minutes, your first 30 minutes and your second 30 minutes is pretty much the same thing with some minor tweaks. And the, the promo code that you bring up is a different one, maybe a different color or the graphic is slightly different, but you can, you can really repeat yourself because no one stays on for that long. So whoever you catch on the last 20 minutes of your one hour stream, if you will, are not going to be the same people that were there in the first 20 minutes. I've never had that issue. Backing it up, I don't add the product I want to attack here, if you will, in the carousel. I bring up the graphic with the promo code, and I also bring up the countdown timer, letting them know, the, um, verbally letting them know, this is the keyword you need to search for to find this product between pages blank and blank. And then you use that code that's on the screen, and it's as simple as that. Something I've done in the past that worked really well, but that I'm shying away from because it just it seems too good to be true, even though Amazon seems to still allow it, is I'll tell people on the Amazon live video, you know, this is the code on the screen. If you want this code handy, you want it accessible on your phone, just text the word, you know, blank to 69922. You've, you've heard me talk about the tool I use in previous episodes, which is Slick Text. You know, so I'll let them know, text the word Amazon to 69922. On a side note, any of you that do text the word Amazon to 69922, it's going to send you the link to the meetup group, our video vault, and all the other activities that we have going on in the Wizards of Amazon meetup group. Uh, so you can also see how that works. But that, so for verbal search find by, that is my overall strategy for that. Um, next section. So in my next section that I want to share with you guys has to, this is a quick one. And that's Amazon Live URLs. So this is really important. Uh, a lot of times when you're creating a brand, you're selling on Amazon, many private label brand owners, I know like they live in this bubble, like their entire business exists on Amazon. Not only is that a bad business practice, I believe that's dangerous. You're one email away from a total shutdown. So, you know, somebody sabotaging your, your brand, your listing, you get suppressed, you know, things happen. Well, hopefully. You've been building an email list. You've been building a mini chat subscriber list. You, you have a robust and active social media. Now, when you go live on Amazon, what works better is to schedule that live in advance. Not only does it let people see what's coming and get set up so they could watch the actual live, it also gives you a chance to get the URL of that live video on Amazon because they provide that to you and share it out amongst your entire audience. This is extremely powerful. So, so think about this. You schedule your live video, you grab the URL, you share it out to your many chat subscribers, your email list, and you're letting everyone know that you're going live and you're going to have this amazing deal, ex Amazon exclusive amazing deal. While you're doing that, Amazon is sending a push notification to everyone that has previously subscribed 
I'm sorry, everyone that has previously, you know, selected to fall elected to follow your channel and your brand that you're about to go live. And then while you're right around when the time when you're through pushing this out to all of your people, sending it to your influencers so they can push it to their people, you're now about ready to go live. You hit that live button. And now Amazon sends another push notification out to everyone that's followed, letting them know that you actually are live and you're visible on Amazon. This is a powerful machine. All right. In addition, if you're not convinced yet, once your Amazon live video is done, since more and more people are doing Amazon live video, you know, it doesn't just sit conveniently on page one anymore, but the content does exist. It does continue to exist after your live video and that URL still works. So you can send this URL in other emails. So what I like to do is I'll send out to my email list and say, look, I'm going live on such and such, such and such. Everyone that my email, I use Active Campaign. Everyone that Active Campaign tells me opened up their email and clicked on the link, I don't send this next email to. But everyone that did not open their email or did not click on the link, I then have an autoresponder reach out to them so they can watch the replay of the video and I send them that URL. So the URL is extremely, extremely powerful. Okay. Another cool thing I do uh, with this URL is I then later on go share it in social media. And what I do is I first run that URL through a tool called PixelMe. So it's pixelme.me. And what it does is it allows me to get that Amazon live URL and pixel it with my Facebook pixel. So even if I'm in a Facebook group or somebody else wants to share it out into their group um, to support the brand, I'm able to also pixel that audience of people that were interested enough to click on the link to watch an Am a, a, a Amazon live video replay. So that, that says a lot about the person in and of itself. So I know that was a mouthful. But, but that's, you know, in a nutshell, why Amazon live uh, video URLs are extremely, extremely important. Make sure that you are promoting this to your list. Currently, it looks like Amazon does a really good job of just blasting your stuff out to all the people that are relevant and have expressed interest in your category. However, I don't see that as continuing to be that easy in the future. So what I'm saying is right now is Amazon doesn't, you know, show your video to only a few people, but the more people that engage with your video and they're like, oh, people are into this, let's show it to more people. They don't do it like that. Everyone else does like all these other live platforms do this, but they don't currently. I, I expect that that will stop at some point and then they're either going to, you're going to have to pay to get it out there or they'll show it to people once more and more people show an interest in it or that are watching it. So pushing it out to your audience is a good habit to start so that when that time does come, you're always able to bring a lot of people to your Amazon live video and show Amazon, hey, look, a lot of people are interested in this. Again, you don't have those channels. Amazon is going to bring a lot of people for free right now to your live video. So you definitely want to go live on Amazon. Final section I want to share with you guys, I know this one is getting long, I'm um, going to try to keep this under 30 minutes, is pre-recorded video. I get that Amazon live video is intimidating. All live video is intimidating. I think it was four years ago or like one of the first New Year's that uh, our meetup group, our Amazon seller meetup group was going into. I thought it would be cool to have a topic and ask everybody and tell everybody, hey, look, what are you going to do outside of your comfort zone to grow this year? So I was like, okay, let me ask everybody this. This will be awesome. I'm really big into this. And everyone went around and said it. And I challenged people, um, other members of the group challenged other group members. So it was absolutely amazing. And we we're just about out of time by the time it made it around the circle back to me. And I was like, all right, everybody, happy new year. And everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa Carlos, what's, what's, what's your, uh, what are you going to do to get out of your comfort zone? And that's the first time in the Amazon seller meetup group that I had been challenged. And, and that was like a, uh oh, wait a minute. I'm the one asking the questions here. No. So they pushed me on it. And, and I've been very open with my group as to far as like, what is my strengths and what are my weaknesses? And one of my weaknesses that was quickly exposed was I'm terrified of live video terrified of podcasts. I'm terrified of all this, you know, pre-recorded stuff. 
And the reason that came up is they wanted, you know, we'd be in the meetup group, somebody would ask a question and I'd answer and they're like, oh my God, Carlos, that's genius. Do you have a video? Did you, do you have that on YouTube? Like, why don't you, I'd love to be able to watch this later. And I'd explain how video terrified me. So when I paused and I was like, hmm, what is outside of my comfort zone that I do? They all in unison said, video, you got to go live. You got to do live video. So I get it. My, I, my, my palms, I remember my palms sweating when they all said that because you can't, I can't back out. I can't have just challenged everybody for three hours and then pooch up and not do it myself. So actually knowing me, well, I mean, the way I am, those of you that know me, I, I created a Facebook group for all the people that were afraid of going live. And we, we created these challenges where we would practice going live. It really helped. It was a lot of fun. And since then, I just really haven't looked back. I go live. Um, they're obviously not all pretty looking, just like all these podcasts, you know, you have your uhs and your ahs and all that, but I'm executing on it. I'm actually doing it now. Now I'm saying this to say, if you're not doing Amazon live video because you're, you're terrified, get over it. This is your brand. This is the singular, most powerful thing I have ever, ever program I've ever seen rolled out by Amazon that could help your brand. And it's free. You need to execute on this. You can hire this out. You can reach out to an agency and, and have them go live on your behalf. You can go ahead and hire someone, which is going to be like the face of your company going live. You can do these things, but you need to go live, whether it's yourself or somebody else. You don't want to put this off any longer or you're missing the boat. <laughs> so when I talk, I'm saying all this, this roundabout way to get to this, this next section on pre-recorded video. When I tell people at Amazon Live Video, the almost... All of them say, can I just record it in advance? Like, because, uh, you know, pre recorded video, if, it, if you stutter, like I've done a few times through this episode, you can delete it. They're looking for perfection. I can tell you that showing vulnerability and these uhs and ahs and stuff like that, it makes you more relatable in videos. That was a, that was a huge eye opener for me. So, um, going live on Amazon is does not have to be perfect. And to answer the question, yes, yes and no. You cannot go live on Amazon and just have pre-recorded video. I've seen a lot of people's stuff get yanked down from that because technically you could. You could go live, you connect vMix and one of the assets that you drag in from vMix is a pre-recorded video to actually show on the screen. So that it technic the, the the tech is there to make that work. But I've noticed that Amazon's yanking those down. Um, what, what I would encourage you to do and what Amazon allows is to use pre-recorded video to complement your, your live video. Some examples of that. Like, let's say you wanted to, uh, let's think, I put myself on the spot here saying, let me think of some, <laughs> some examples. But let's, let, let's say that you had a product and you wanted to con communicate that this product works. It's like a unisex product. And whether you're, you know, big, fat, skinny, short, tall, whatever, this thing fits. Now, getting all of those, you could just say that, but this is video. This is live video after all, like go big or go home, right? So you could communicate this a lot better if you had actual people or lifestyle, you know, real video talent doing this. But coordinating that to get everyone together would be would be a logistical nightmare. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to mention extremely expensive. So what you could do is you could you know go on Fiverr, go on Upwork, and just find some people, send them your product, or you know other people in the U.S. or friends even you know test all the people you're using as testimonials on your website and reach out to them and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm putting together a promo video that we're going to include in our amazing Amazon live video, like you're going to be featured like a model, like a superstar on our Amazon live video. Do you want to do this? Yes. Perfect. Um, use a tool like videoask.com. You send them, you know, you can actually set up the questions you want to do. You can limit the amount of time that they have to answer it. And then they click a button and they're rec easily recording their answers to that. And then you get all of these, send them to an editor and mash them up together into this montage. Now, when you're doing your Amazon live video and you're like, look, um, all of my competitors claim that, you know, it's a unisex product and it fits everybody equally, regardless of your size. But in reality, aren't you tired of dealing with this? And maybe you throw up an image of, 
this thing fitting super loosely and not providing the support that it should or too tight to where it's cutting off the circulation. So instead of just telling you this, I want to show you. And when you do that, you then inject that next bit of pre-recorded video, which is the montage of real people of all these different shapes and sizes using this product. Now, that is what I mean by using pre-recorded video to complement your video. Now, you didn't have to create this all these different camera angles to bring these people in with all these different lightings and all these different makeups to make everyone look amazing. You didn't need to do a whole bunch of takes. You didn't need to travel anywhere. You literally sent this tool video ask that's by type form. You sent this out and you obtained all this information, but you don't have to have an in-house video editor, nothing. So that and variations of that are some of the most powerful ways to use pre-recorded video with Amazon Live to complement your video. I've used it with great success doing it that way. One huge no-no. And, you know, I probably, I told some of you guys in the beginning, like technically the tech is there to be able to just do a 30 minute pre-recorded video and insert it. And let's say you did get it past Amazon's eyeballs a few times, you know, good for you. You're not getting the same effect. Remember when you're going live, you have a comment bar on the side and people are asking you questions and they're engaging with your brand. If that's happening and you just set this thing scheduled to play this video and you went out and did your thing, no one's there to really answer those questions. And even if you said, well, I'm just going to play the pre-recorded video and then I'm going to sit there and answer those questions. That's, that's a totally different experience than somebody asking the questions and you're answering them live on the video. Like you have an open Q and A on the product. Think about it. Which one would you appreciate more? How many times have you been offended that you go to watch a, I'm doing air quotes here, live webinar. And it's obviously this facade, it's this pre-recorded webinar and they're just portraying it like it's live. You feel duped. It's an ugly feeling. Don't do it. But say you don't trust me. You're like, Carlos, I'm going to test what you're saying. And you decide to do it anyway and you get away with it. That's fine. You're not going to get suspended or anything like that. Now, one thing that you will get in a lot of trouble for and perhaps lose your live video creator privileges for is looping. And this is a huge no-no. Even Facebook came down really hard on this. And that is, you know, Facebook, I want to be able to retarget people off of my live video. So what am I going to do? I'm going to create this 45 minute video knowing everyone's not going to be here for the full 45 minutes. And then I'm going to loop it five times. So what is that? Like 225 minutes. So several hours that I'm going live. And while this is happening, I'm getting all the engagement. I'm getting all that in the comments, but no one really knows that this thing's just looping. Well, if you re do record some pre-recorded content and you loop it on Amazon live video, you are going to be in a lot of trouble and you could, you, you could lose your live creator privileges to go live on Amazon, which, um, which would be catastrophic, obviously, if you wanted to leverage this program. All right. So no loops recap, uh, four super important sections that I use to really go you know, bananas on my Amazon live videos and get awesome results are the follow call to action, which sends out push notifications to people that have followed your brand when you're, when you have a scheduled live, when you actually go live. And some of those live videos are actually showing out on the checkout page, create that follow graphic or that follow me graphic that sits really close or right underneath the follow, um, button on your Amazon live video, um, verbal search, find buys, Perhaps don't add the product that you want to focus your attention on in the carousel. Make sure you have a, a, you've created a countdown timer and you bring that on the screen. Also bring on the graphic with the promo code. Then we have the Amazon live URL. You definitely want to maximize this and send this out to all of your channels, all of your influencers that you're working with. Finally, we got the pre-recorded video and how if you create video loops of pre-recorded content, you will lose your Amazon live video privileges and finally use pre-recorded video to complement your Amazon live video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're able to execute on some of this. Um, I'm working on creating one of my first courses on this actual subject because I know there's a lot of ambiguity in this. If you're interested in the course when it comes out, if you have any questions regarding Amazon live video that you want to chat about, please don't hesitate to message me on Instagram at Wizards of Amazon. I love talking about this, you know, Amazon live video, the posts program, um, Alexa flash briefings and custom skills. This is, this is, this is 
I have a lot of my attention dedicated to these areas right now on Amazon, and I, I love hearing everyone's experiences on it. I went. I, I I apologize again also for taking so long to come out with part two. Just COVID broke loose and working from home and, and all this craziness. But I hope everybody listening to this is in the best of health and your loved ones are safe. Uh, stay safe. Keep crushing it in your business. And thank you so much for listening to this show. Liked what you heard and want to stay connected? Join our Facebook group or find me anywhere on social media at Wizards of Amazon or text the word Amazon to 69922. 